In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone, welcome back. We are at the top of our second week in this challenge. So far, real good progress has been made. We just started one small favour at the end of yesterday and we've got our birdhouses set up. We're about to make our first batch of oak birdhouses. Who knows, maybe we'll even get some nests from the regular ones that we had. Uh, we'll find out at the start of this session and we may be able to claim them again at the end of the session. One small favour is going to be the main goal today. We will answer the question of how long one small favour actually takes to complete. And if we get through that in a decent amount of time, we'll probably be moving on to the Watchtower. It's not horror from the deep. One of the two, haven't quite decided yet. Another day on the quests. I feel like a lot of this series is going to be mainly questing. That makes sense of the amount. The main grind that we have to do is the 175 quest points. So here we go. Just collect that. And I'm actually just going to sell a few things. Because I just want the cash stacks to look a little nicer. So any teleport scrolls we have. Because they can be expensive. Uh, we don't need those anymore. All that, all that. Okay, got a bit of cash back out of those. So that is nice. 132k we're on now. Not too bad. Right, we are going to get one small favour up on the side. But before we actually go to start it, let's go do a birdhouse run. And we've got Port Sarin. So I'm not sure if we can use the pest control teleport because I haven't been to the island before. But I'll give it a go. I went to the wrong one. If not, we'll just glory to drain her and walk from there. Here we go, our first nest. Oh, two more. Very nice. 1500 there. And that's total level 750. That is interesting. We could do Last Man Standing now. Weirdly, I've actually been playing Last Man Standing on my main recently. I have no idea why. I just got into it the past few days. All the way up to five nests. So a sick run. I wonder if we could make some money somehow with that at some point. If we're low, it is an option now to consider. I got my first ever win just yesterday in LMS. I didn't even realise we were the final fight. I just was fighting the fight. And then I won and I was confused why it took me out of the arena. Because I didn't think I died. Anyway, that is the birdhouse runs for now, I believe. We do need a few bits and pieces for this. So I'm going to get the bits for the first half. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, we still need a smithing level. That's a good point. Do we have any dwarven? No, we don't, but that's okay. Let's just go and see if we can get to pest control. We can. Nice. Okay, so from here we can head on to Port Sorum. Quickest way to get to Port Sorum, for those who don't know, just pest control tell. Running from Draenor might be about as quick, but... Okay, we're just going to teleport straight to Draenor. No point running. Uh, yep, ham hideout next. Should have probably bought a lock pig, but oh well. There we go. Quick stop at the bank. Need to make sure I've got plenty of stam for this quest. And there's something else I wanted. Or Alks, maybe. Oh, back up, glory. Man just ran out. Uh, doing that on my skills necklace. I guess I'll just walk, it's not that far. Because, like, I'd still have to run, like, a similar distance anyway for a skills necklace to the mining guild, because it's on, like, the exact wrong side of the uh, place to where we want to be. Okay, here he is. Uh, I don't think I brought a games necklace. So let's just go quickly. Ok, 
games skills. I don't think there's anything else we would need. Two Guams, Marantil, Harlander, High Wolf Mountain. We're gonna go to the glider at the PvP arena. Quicker than running up there. Cassidy. Uh, I feel like that's actually quick to get down there. Yeah, we just run down there. It's probably about as fast as teleporting to Camelot. Sears Village, definitely teleport for that one. We're gonna climb up on his roof. Fishing Guild. Addy. Oh shit, we don't have an Addy teleport yet. Damn, still not high enough level. What level did we get that? 51. Still a few levels away. Well, hopefully today we should get some decent magic XP out of Watchtower or Horror from the Deep for a little less, depending on how much time we have. Minigame teleport's still down, so I'm gonna have to go to Monastery again. Maybe I should go G and just get a couple hardy teletubs. Okay, gonna go for a reset before we go down to Rance. Get some energy back. Grab another elk stack as well while we're there. Though we are running low, I don't think we have much after this. Yeah, I think I think this is our last elk stack for now. Uh, back to the monastery. Okay, so I just have to take all the gems. Oh shit, I smashed one. I guess I needed another jade. Oh, he sells them. Okay, we can do that. And another turbans. And another rope hole. Good damn. So far I think we've just got one side done. Okay, we can't, can't fuck the sapphires. Jeez, these things are so hard to click on. Hey! Fuck off you. Alright, come on mate, I need some more opals. Beautiful. I need a jade. Fuck's sake. I need a jade, mate. Got another one. He's got deep pockets, this fella, hasn't he? There we go! Hardest part of this quest, you knew. Should have just bought them. I wonder if you can make profit just by getting red topaz from this guy. How much does this sell for? Look at that! 1,900? Hang on. I mean, the dialogue option's a bit weird, but this feels like a... a super unusual moneymaker. Oh, he only sold me like three. Well, it's a good job. I bought an extra one anyway. Alright, we are halfway through. Yeah, whatever, mate. I don't actually give a fuck about your animation. Okay, back to Port Hazard. We can minigame teleport this time because it is back up. I think I might go GE after that, get another couple of Alk stacks and an RD teleport. Wow, none of them are buying. What the fuck? I can't remember what the other thing is that I kept buying. Maybe it was the iron chains. I'll have to do. Nothing else is buying right now. <sighs> okay, what else did we want? An Ardoon. I'll get two just in case. Beautiful. Alright, cash that looking a little worse for wear now. I've got 7,000 offers in. Yeah, let's just... Let's just get on with this shit. Pigeon cages. There is 48 magic. Nothing that unlocked particularly at that level, but we are just one level away from being able to enchant rubies, ruby items, uh, which is nice, because we had to boost for that the other day to make our dig site necklaces, so. Uh, nah, I should, I should teleport rather than run. Well, there's some steel war hammers. Gonna get another stam as well. Do we need anything else, actually? I should probably got the things for the last part. Don't think I need that ball. Don't know if I need the pickaxe, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I have to fight the Slaglyph. I'm actually just gonna go back to GE. Okay, let's cancel all this shit. Let's get ourselves a pickaxe. Uh, I think we can wield Addy. Pro we probably can't do better than that. Beautiful. Can't collect it because I'm full. I'll just put the Wando stand back. We don't need the steel pickaxe. We're gonna have our fire cape on. We're gonna have our climbing. Do we don't have any climbing boots anymore? Mad. Climbing boots. I don't know why I needed these pigeon cages. But whatever. Don't need that right now. Do want that right now. Got everything on. About as good as it gets, innit? 
What are we gonna wear? Fucking Kazard armor. Oh, we got a Berserker on. Could slap that on. Fuck it, that's what we're going with. Oh, I guess I could just wear this shit. It's fine. Alright. Should have brought potions. Hopefully it won't be too long. Okay, here we go. Oh no. This is not looking good. <laughs> Maybe I should be on Crush. Okay, okay. I think Crush is working more on the spike. Press draining quickly. There we go. Three day again. Beautiful. Don't know what we don't need here. What don't we need here? Oh my gosh. I'm flapping, I'm flapping, I'm flapping, I'm flapping. I think we've got another hammer that I'll have to do. Please tell me we've got another hammer in the bank. <sighs> uh, we can bank some stuff now anyway and make the invent a bit nicer. I still don't know why we need the pigeon cages, but whatever. And we don't want this shit on. Because it weighs too much. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got it all there. Uh, yes, we had a hammer. Don't think we need a chisel anymore either. Alright, cool. We're getting there. It's taking most of the day though. It is a long quest. 20k XP at the end, so... In two skills of our choice. Well, 10k in each. Jeez. Climb down from the roof. Wait, do I have to use them on it? Oh no, I need the smithing boost. Oh fuck. Okay, this is the part I need the smithing for. Uh, shit, flapping, 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 flapping. Nope, not flapping. Uh, no, I'm not sure that's the right one, actually. Yep, gonna have to go GE. Beautiful. Okay. And I feel like I wanted something else as well. Enough dueling. Go Ferox. This may just take the full fucking day, you know. It's looking that way. We're getting through it, but there's just so much to do on this. Um, Two, three, beautiful. One weather vane fixed. Is it the Captain Blue Madge next? No, Catherby. Get out on the dock. Probably should have teleported to the glider. I'm like halfway there now. Dragon implant world! Whatever world I'm on. Catch it now, folks. I only have 17 Hunter, you're not going to see me doing that. I'll catch on my main, but I'm busy! Oh dear. Okay, Sanfu... Sanfu! I'm going to just go Games Necklace to Berthop. Is that the same one, or is that a different one? Is there two Dragon Imps, like, right next to each other? That's got to be the same one, right? It's got to be the same one. Okay, mining guild, and we have to cross all the way. Don't think we can use the shortcut either. Not sure what level it is. 42. We will probably be at 42 after this quest. That agility boost is going to be very nice. Every single agility level we get means less stamina and energy consumed, which is a lot of the daily outgoing at the minute. Like, we are constantly... Wait, we have to kill them? Oh shit, I didn't bring runes. I don't have anything. Okay, I have to kill three. Let's go two down. Okay, that's three. <sighs> okay, Bob Village. Edgeville. I'm gonna be fucking sprinting just to finish this quest, I'm not gonna lie. Don't think we're gonna have time for Watchtower or... Oh. Horror from the Deep. The Horror from the Deep is a quick quest. I don't think it's quick enough that we'll have time. By the time we've finished up with this, we're probably gonna have like five minutes left. Just enough for a birdhouse, maybe. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. One airtight pot. Oh, we need the pigeon cages. Guess that's what we needed them for. It was just telling us to get them while we were there. Okay, back to Lumbridge. Oh, look how close we are. Look how close we are to the bottom of that list. What the fuck is going on? My character keeps bathing all over the place! Wait, why did my quest help us stop? That's weird. Yeah, eat that spider. Uh, Drina. Not Edgeville, but whatever. Okay, back to the axe shop. Just gonna walk. Almost done. So close. Let's go. 
Oh no, I don't have any more stamina or energy. <sighs> Should have gone to to Ferox. What the fuck? Well, this is going to be a slow walk back to the end of the quest, but is what it is. All in all, I mean, I don't know exactly how long this has taken me. I will do the, the math in, in editing and throw it up on the screen as I usually do. Round about an hour, I think. Ever so slightly less. Maybe about 50 minutes. I don't know, you'll see in a minute or two when it pops up. But yeah, it's uh, definitely the longest... Longest quest we've done on this account so far. Uh, and we've done quite a lot of quests at this point. So, it's not nothing. And yes, I'm going to stop at the bank for stamina. Birdhouses are just clocking in as well. Pretty good timing. That's more like it. Give me those lamps, baby. Let's have one in agility. All the way up to 40. Not quite as high as whatever that shortcut was before and 39 mining was sh slightly shy Shit. well well i'm sure i can think of a way to get the mining xp we're not going to be starting the watchtower today anyway because there's not going to be any time at all for that why am i running we're going to ferox okay we're going to do a birdhouse run and then i guess buy some of the stuff for uh, horror from the d uh, i might just like cook some karam ones for the last few minutes Make some Karambons, get our level up. Good stuff. Right, we need a dig site, we need clockwork, we need oak logs, we need seeds. We need a hammer and a chisel. And a wealth. Beautiful. Gonna set the left click to Fossil Island. On my dig site pendant. Okay, one bird house there. One bird nest even. Emerald ring inside it. We could enchant that into a, uh, a ring of jeweling. Save us buying one. Still getting like a level of birdhouse at the minute, it's crazy. Just one nest from this trip so far though. None on the last one. Okay. Pretty sure I have cosmic runes. Yeah, let's just get that enchanted in the bank. Okay. Now we have a few things we can sell. We've got some birds' nests. And a pestle and a mortar to go with them. Bit of cash, bit of cash. Uh, I meant to put them all on, not just one. Lovely stuff, that's exactly why we invested in that method. Up to 230k. I am going to get some cramp ones. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to work. Only got a few minutes left here, but we can get off a couple invents at least. Don't know exactly where I'm going to need this. But, as far as I'm aware, this range is the closest one to a bank without extra unlocks like the Myths Guild or uh, the Thieves Place. Okay, so we're going to have to bing, bang, boom. Going to be high burn rate here. And we get pretty much no money back out of this because we're making them into poisoned ones, not not what you would call it, actual edible ones that, we, that people want. Uh, plus burns. Maybe we can get some money out of burns, who knows. But we'd have to, like, find somebody who wants them, which takes time, which we never have, so... Probably not, because you can't sell them on G8. But yeah, Karam ones, the only food that you can cook one tick, which is why they are the fastest cooking method. Uh, other than maybe wines, if you count them. I think it's probably comparable, but we can't make wines yet. Uh, obviously, making cooked Karam one far better than making poisoned Karam one, but gotta do what you gotta do, aren't you? I'm hoping these couple hundred that we bought will take me up to 30 cooking, but depending on burn rate, we might be under. Damn, <laughs> burn rate is bad. 57% burn rate at the minute. Just ate one by accident. Fucking idiot. Maybe I should change the uh, left click to use so I don't accidentally do that again. Oh no, I run out of energy. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. We're not gonna get back. Fucked my energy. What did we get to there? 20. 20 cooking. <sighs> not too bad. And there is day eight done. Well, well, well. We got one small favor done. And that's about it. And that's about it. And then a bit of cooking XP at the end there. Jeez. How did we get up 
so many different types of XP today. I guess you just have to do loads of different things as part of one small favor, don't you? We did do two bird house runs as well, so is that to take into account 2800 hunter xp but hunter's not particularly relevant for us so that's not too big 12k magic xp though it's about the same as we've been getting i think so keeping pace with that with the alks and just tiny bits of combat xp the smithing from that fixing that we did up 10k agility and mining are the big ones the mining unfortunately ever so slightly shy so I'm going to have to do something else just to knock that up because I thought I was going to be up to 40. But I'm pretty sure there's a few different quests that give like 1k mining XP or whatever. So I will look into those. Maybe the giant dwarf. That might be a good shout. So that might be a good one to get out of the way actually. We'll see. But yeah, it's been a pretty solid day. I mean, having up to 40 agility is nice. Almost 40 on the mining front as well. The magic is slowly but surely getting there. Once we get to 55, that high level alchemy will make things a lot, lot nicer. Both on the cash front and on the XP front. Pretty decent day all around. And I reckon we should probably... I was going to say we should be able to do Watchtower and Horror from the Deep tomorrow, but if we need to do some other, like something like the Giant Dwarf to get our mining up, then that might cut into that. I haven't figured it out exactly. Things are still up in the air, and that's part of the fun. I'm just sort of, I've got my big spreadsheet with a list of everything that I need to do, but it's not sorted and ordered, and every day I move things around and pick a couple things to shove up the priority and whatever depending on how I'm feeling so it's all very much in flux but if you've enjoyed the video please do leave a like on it it helps out a ton and feel free to leave a comment down below let me know how you're enjoying the series so far as we get into season two starting to make some progress I reckon we'll have a council member free this week for sure for sure for sure until we do Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see it, and be lovely to one another. Look after yourself. I will see you in the next one.